Hi friends, it's Miss Pizzi here with another read aloud for us today. We have been studying about the sun, the moon, and the stars, and today we have a new book called Little Kids First Big Book of Space. This book is a little bit different because we have been reading a lot of fiction texts about the sun, the moon, and the stars, and this is our first nonfiction book that we're going to look at. So we know in nonfiction books that they have table of contents. So I'm going to open up to our table of contents. And today I'm not going to read this whole book because it's really long. We're going to focus on one part. So let me bring you through the chapter. So here's our contents page. This is looking up from Earth is one part. Earth's neighborhood is another part. Earth's other neighbors, far, far away, and exploring space. So the section that we're going to focus on today is Earth's neighborhood. We're specifically going to be learning about the planets and the planets that make up the solar system. Okay, so let me get to that section. All right, here we go. Earth's neighborhood. Take a good look at the picture. These are the planets that make up the solar system. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. Let's look really closely. And we're going to read today about three of these planets. So listen carefully. Rocky planets and gas giants. To be called a planet, an object has to be round, and it must orbit a star. Nothing else has its exact same orbit. There are eight big planets that orbit the sun. We check those out over here. The four planets closest to the sun are made mostly of rock. They are called terrestrial, or rocky planets. The four planets farthest from the sun are big balls of gas. They do not have a solid surface. Some things are solid, like rock. Other things are gas, like the air you breathe. And some things are liquid, like water. Can you say the names of all eight big planets on page 34? Guess what? We did that. We'll say them again. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. Let's check out that first planet. Mercury. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. It is the smallest of the eight big planets. It orbits the sun faster than any other planet. One year on Earth, the time it takes to orbit the sun is 365 days. One year on Mercury is only 88 days. During the day on Mercury, it gets very hot. At night, it gets very cold. Mercury does not have a moon. Mercury is hard to see from Earth because it is so, so close to the bright sun. Check out that picture. And then over here, we have another nonfiction text feature that gives us some facts. So take a close look, then I'm going to read you the facts. So the size, it's comparing the size of Mercury to Earth and the place in space. It's the first planet in orbit around the sun. And how far away is it? It takes five months for a spaceship to get there. It's a long time. Scientists from NASA sent a spaceship called Messenger to Mercury. NASA is the space program for the United States. Messenger traveled 4.9 billion miles before it began to orbit Mercury. This is Mercury. This is the Messenger, and they're using labels, another nonfiction text feature that you are very familiar with. You've read these, and you've actually included them in your writing, too. A special sunshade helped protect Messenger from the sun's heat as it orbited Mercury. This is a crater. Right here. It's pointing right here. This is a crater. A crater is a big bowl-shaped hole on the surface of a planet or moon. This is one of the photographs that Messenger took of the surface of Mercury. In March 2011, Messenger became the first spacecraft 
to orbit Mercury, Messenger sent photographs of Mercury to scientists on Earth. That's a pretty cool spacecraft, the spacecraft messenger. All right, let's move on to our next planet. It is Venus. <clears throat> Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. It has an atmosphere of thick clouds. The clouds hold in heat like a blanket, making Venus very hot. The sun's light reflects off Venus's clouds. That makes Venus look very bright. Only the moon is brighter in Earth's night sky. Mercury and Venus are the only big planets in our solar system that do not have moons. Venus is the planet closest to Earth. Check it out. Can you find Venus in the sky? Hint. It looks like the brightest star in the sky, but it is a planet, not a star. And we can look at the little facts part right here. And we can see the comparison between Earth and Venus. It is second planet in orbit around the sun, and it takes about four months for a spaceship to get there. Okay. Magellan, a spaceship sent to Venus, was able to peek beneath the planet's thick clouds. It took photographs of the surface of Venus. Magellan was carried from Earth into space by another spacecraft called the Space Shuttle. Here's our labels. Earth is labeling Magellan. One day on Venus is much longer than one day on Earth because Venus spins more slowly. Magellan showed that most of Venus is covered in lava the rocks that come from volcanoes. This is a volcano on Venus called Matmons. Earth spins counterclockwise towards the left. Venus spins clockwise or right. Venus spins in the opposite direction than Earth spins. Let's remember these facts about these different planets. So that was Venus. And the last one we're gonna do today is Mars. Okay, let's check it out. Here it is. All right, Mars is more like Earth than any other planet in the solar system. Scientists think there may have been flowing rivers on Mars long, long ago. They are curious about where the river water is now. It may be frozen beneath the surface. The huge volcanoes on Mars may be the biggest in the solar system. One day on Mars is about the same length of time as one day on Earth. Mars looks reddish because there is a lot of iron in the rocks on the surface. Iron is a metal that rusts, turning red. And here we go with our little facts. You can see the comparison of Mars to Earth right here. Let's see, where is it located? It's fourth it's the fourth planet in orbit around the sun, and it takes eight months for a spaceship to get there. A long time. Mars has two very small moons. They are shaped like potatoes. The moons are called Phobos and Deimos. Here they are right here. Pretend you are standing on Phobos, one of the moons. When you look up, Mars would cover a huge part of the sky. That's because Mars is so close to its moon. Now pretend you are standing on Earth's moon. When you look up, Earth does not cover as much of the sky. That's because Earth is far away from its moons. So you can see here. This is if you are standing on our moon that we see from Earth, Earth's moons. And if you were standing on the moon and you looked at Earth, that's what you would see. If you were standing here on the moon in Mars, this is what you would see. Several spaceships have traveled to Mars, carrying equipment to explore the planet. Robots called rovers roll across the surface taking photographs, looking for water and studying rocks. Two rovers called Spirit and Opportunity landed on two sides of Mars in January 2004. Spirit stopped working in 2010, 
but Opportunity kept going, continuing to send information back to Earth. So here's a close-up of what they look like. All right, friends, and the next time I read this book, we're going to start with Jupiter. That will be the next planet that we start. You did an awesome job listening along as I was reading about those planets. I hope you learned some new facts and you can remember them. You could even watch the video again and start writing down some facts because this book is a nonfiction text and it taught us a lot of different facts about the different planets we read about today. I can't wait to come back and teach you more about the other planets.